kiss the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake, kiss the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Welcome back. In today's video, we are doing an extreme decluttering of my whole home. It's not all in one part. It is going to be separated up into multiple parts of a decluttering series because it's just a big task because we do have a five bedroom home. So I needed to go through all of the kids toys. I'm currently working on I think the third video right now. So I am filming them ahead. Don't worry they are coming out here very shortly. I have a ton of new things coming to my channel. I'm so excited for one of the sponsorships coming up because I feel like it's going to change up my house a little bit and I'm excited for that for you guys. But like I said, we are going to be jumping into my two sons' rooms because I feel like their toys, they have toys in their rooms, but they also don't play with the toys in their rooms, if you know what I mean. They literally just throw them everywhere. I don't feel like they actually get played with. So I wanted to go through and try to make my house more minimal in any way that I can because it's just been so overwhelming lately with just everything going on in my life. So I feel like as long as the kids still have toys and they play with the toys that they have, I'm trying to give my home purpose. You know, I'm trying to get rid of all the extras that are unnecessary or that no one touches or hasn't played with in a year, as well as clothes that are outgrown holes in them you know just terrible clothes so I'm going through their closets as well as the linen closet in the hallway and then I will also be cleaning as well in this video there will be a lot of extreme cleaning motivation as well and like I said this is a part of a decluttering series so make sure you're sticking around to watch all of the series I promise you my house is gonna feel like it's brand new by the time I'm done here and this also works because it's part of my pre spring cleaning I know that spring cleaning isn't for a while but I don't know what it is about this time of year especially February I feel like my house just needs like a breath you know where everything just needs cleaned out so I'm starting my spring cleaning early especially with PCS season for the military coming up I want to be prepared for when we do have to move so I'm gonna be tackling this house I am really excited for you guys to see all of this motivation and I hope that you guys will stick to the end and we are just gonna jump into this video and I hope that you guys will clean along or even just watch with me or get some ideas for your own home. Good sleep, dream about all the ways you could reach me. But now you keep missing out on me, that's for sure. Take down your walls and let me ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, brick by brick, now let me ooh, ooh, ooh. I wanna be by the by your side. I wanna be there, won't you be mine? heading into my son's closet because it really just needed picked up organized decluttered like I said and I'm gonna go through the clothes and get rid of clothes that are too small as well as put them in kind of an organized way I like I don't do color 
coating or whatever the home edit style is where you do everything by the rainbow um, I just put long sleeves with long sleeves, you know, and warmer clothes together as well as pants together. There's not really that big of a system. I just like like long sleeves being together, like I said, and some pants. But it doesn't always have to be perfect. What we can do is what we can do. And that's what I was just focused on in this video. I just really want to use my kids' closets because they are pretty big. And I feel like they're unused space. So that is why I'm going through this and really organizing it as well. I just want to get you on my grid sometimes, on my grid sometimes All my friends are saying that I waste my time, that I waste my time I finished going through these toys and I'm just so happy with the way it's going because yes their bins are still full of toys and yes I kept all of the toys they play with but I got rid of the little snack toys that they get from the Kinder Joy eggs or if we ever have McDonald's toys or just things that were broken you know how rough they can be with their toys I don't understand why we had so many broken toys but we did and then I also donated a lot of their toys. I took it to Goodwill. I wish I could have found like a women's shelter to take this to or like an abuse shelter. Next time I feel like I need to make sure it goes somewhere that, like that because I feel like they could use it more. And I hate that Goodwill makes so much money off free stuff. You know, I, I know that's cheap at Goodwill, but still. And for all the people that are new here and have never heard of me or this is your first time popping on a video, my name is Justine. I currently live in South Carolina. We are a military family. I have three small children that are 10, 4, and 2. So we are always busy and I do work full time from home. I'm a medical coder. I'm currently in school for my bachelor's and I thankfully only have one or two semesters left because I have to do a internship at the end even though I already do it at my current job. But that's the way the world works so I have to do it. And I also just have a busy life. I am always busy with YouTube, editing, just everything that your kids throw at you, not sleeping. We all know the struggle when kids regress in sleep. But I created my YouTube channel to be a safe space for us to go and kind of get away from everything and get ideas and motivation to clean and organize our own home while being super busy with a super busy schedule. And I hope that you guys will consider staying and liking my videos as well as checking out some more on my channel after this one and hitting that subscribe button below as well as the alert bell. I do upload one to two times a week right now and the weeks that I do not have school I do three videos normally but that's on the rare occasion I don't have school and a whole bunch of homework to do. But I really appreciate you guys clicking on my video today and getting all of this decluttering and organizing motivation as well as some cleaning motivation. And I hope that you guys will either get up and clean with me or just sit back and relax and watch and get ideas for your own home. <laughs>
I do suggest when you are decluttering to not have your kids home. However, like I said, I do work full time. So this was a weekend and he was about to go down for a nap. So I can't come in here when he's napping. So my bonus daughter actually was playing with him in the bonus room. So you guys will see my kids throughout my videos. It's not always perfect and I don't always have free time like some YouTubers make it seem. I know that I can make it seem that way too, that I have all this free time and that I just have all the time in the world to be cleaning and I don't. So just so you're aware that my kids are just <laughs> running around right now. Yes, they're not hurting themselves because they are being watched, but still, <laughs> this is a part of life and I have to do stuff when they're home and I know a lot of you guys can relate to that, but I just worked around them and we got everything I needed to do done. For a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just want to go my own way, kind of let the past burn down. Cause honestly, don't want to be stuck in boring conversations with you. With you, I'm gonna. all of the white marks on the walls i have to repaint all throughout my house because the warranty people for our home came and just organized it and i do apologize you're gonna see my kids they're in the bonus room but that's why that's there it's gonna get touched up but these are just the two bags and clothes and like toys i got from my son's room that no longer work broken don't play with you know all of that and then we have a Kirby vacuum. We haven't used it in probably three years. Not since I got my stick vacuum, my Shark Apex Uplight, which you just saw me using. I'm going to get rid of that kitchen because he doesn't play with it. So, I mean, decluttering has begun in this house. And it's PCS season plus spring cleaning here soon. So, this is making my life a lot easier. And in case you're wondering what real life moment this is, 
I just did his room and he knocked everything on the floor already. Anyway, we're gonna head into my other son's room. Sorry if it's bright. My other son's room and just go through that little bin of toys over there and put his clothes away. And he has some books down there I wanted to touch up on, but everything else is pretty much good to go in his room. I regularly clean this, so I don't ever really have to get rid of anything. But we're just gonna do it quickly. husband actually built these toy boxes there's one in my bonus daughter's bedroom as well I like them but they're super heavy if you've ever tried to pick one of these up because they're solid wood and yes I did not stain the inside and I do not like the color of this stain I just have not gotten to sanding it down and changing the color because I absolutely do not like this color brown but it is what it is at this point I'm not going to change it right now but I do like how big and open it is especially for all of the mismatched toys as well as the hot wheel tracks because they take up so much room and i'm just separating the train tracks from the hot wheels and kind of making it a little bit more organized he didn't have a ton of things in his toy bin because like i said i've gone through this pretty regularly there was just a few things that needed to move to my other son's room into those little cubicle things i have that i just organized in his room in his closet so that's what I'm doing in this part and I do want to mention hopefully in my next house when we do move I can find or buy those beddies. I don't know if anyone else has heard of them. I've seen them on a few YouTubers like big YouTubers and they are a little pricey but they look like like they look so easy you just zip them up. Like there's no sheets there's just nothing like it looks so much easier with my kids I, I don't know I keep going back and forth on buying them but then I would need all three of them to get one you know so I don't know we'll see how it goes but let's finish up this room and I'm gonna move over to his dresser once I'm done with this if I could stop the time don't you know that I would cuz I just loving this moment can always stay here forever Just loving this moment Can we stay here? 
through my older son's room and getting all of his clothes organized and his toys and getting rid of what we don't need or that's too small. I didn't really get rid of what's too small. I moved it to my younger son's room, but we're going to go into the hallway and tackle the linen closet. I did actually organize this, I think in a previous video about a year ago, probably last spring actually. And I kept quite a bit of stuff because I'm like, Oh, I don't know if we'll need it. Well, this time when I went into this closet, I went in with the mindset, if we don't use it, we're getting rid of it. And I felt like it just changed the space for me. And I did keep a few things um, that my nanny, my great grandma hand quilted. Uh, she is in her 90s. So I want to make sure that I keep those. I have a few of those. And then my, my husband has a blanket that his grandma quilted him as a baby so we keep those kinds of things it's just like Caden's room you saw me put all those blankets in the little cubicles those stay in there because those are baby blankets that were made by their grandparents so I always keep those but everything else sheets all of the extra stuff like I even had some mattress protectors for twin bedding and I don't even own a twin so <laughs> these are the reasons why I have to go through this closet so often. I didn't touch the two bins on the top because I did actually just go through those and they're just like our diplomas, our degrees, and just pictures of the kids. So I didn't need to go through those because I know what's up there. But that's what we're going to be doing and we're going to be tackling this closet and then just moving on to our cleaning.
So I am going to be making a pork chop recipe. I found it on Pinterest. I will link it below. But it's just one of my favorite ways to make my pork chops, which is honey garlic, you know, some soy sauce. You know, you put it over some rice or even some egg noodles, and it's really good. All you need is some soy sauce, ketchup, minced garlic, olive oil, cornstarch, salt and pepper, some parsley and honey, and then of course your pork chops. And then you just throw it in a crock pot. And I like to do mine low for a little bit, and then when it gets closer to dinner, I turn it on high. Just depends. I, sometimes I don't like how dry it can get. So I normally try to stick on it on low. And then I just get these little Reynolds crock pot baggies. However, I just noticed that my crock pot is broken. So that gives me an excuse to get new appliances and I already know what I wanna get. So hopefully by the next video, you guys will see which ones I decide to get because there's a few appliances I want to get rid of that I've had since you know 2015 you know and they were just cheap and I just don't like the color red I love white black and gray so if we get something new I will let you guys know let's just make this dinner I just want to hold you I just want to look into your eyes and tell you that I want you You know you make me feel so alive Can't stop thinking about you day and night Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch Every time I'm down here you make me smile You're the solution Now that I'm done putting everything in the crock pot, because crock pot meals are just so easy and it's healthy, I didn't feel like I was overloading myself on calories or anything making this. And I'm just going to eat the vegetables. I don't really eat egg noodles. And I do like jasmine rice, but I just already had my carbs. So I do try to not eat a whole bunch of carbs throughout the day. But I'm going to clean up the kitchen and get it picked up before my son wakes up from nap time because a lot of my stuff is filmed during nap time. It's just easier when he's asleep. My other two are very easy compared to my two-year-old. I swear they make the second kid to test your patience and this child is probably just like me as a little kid. So I feel bad for my mom who had three daughters that were twins and one was uh, 18 months older. So I give any props to you mom kids give any props to you guys that are doing two-year-olds if you have twins oh my goodness I can't even imagine but we're gonna get this stuff picked up and move on
concussion Oh, you bitch by touching I just wanted to kind of clean up my bedroom just quickly vacuum it and then throw in some laundry and then I'm gonna go upstairs and finish cleaning out the hallway with all of the bags that are going to donate just kind of get rid of that vacuum I'm also gonna deep clean my son Liam's carpet because it just smells a little funky to me and I think it needs a refresher you know not a lot of natural light comes into that room I don't feel like none of the kids have a lot of light except for Jocelyn because she has that double window where they only have one single window in their room so I wanted to do that and then I'm going to pick up the bathroom that will be pretty much it for this video. I'm trying to keep them a little bit shorter because this is part one of my decluttering series. There will be several parts because I'm tackling my whole house to get ready for a PCS move for the military as well as just getting ready for spring cleaning and this is actually part of my spring cleaning. I'm doing it early this year. Like I said we are supposed to move soon so I want to make sure that it's all tackled and all ready to go. But let's jump into this video. I'm already on my way, on my way We've been dancing all night long Right here with you way too long Don't want nothing here on God But I'm down waiting Down, down, wasting my time Got the sweet talk I'm already on my way I'm pulling up, don't be late I'm cutting through all the lanes
I had to finish up vacuuming when my son wasn't going down for a nap. So this was after he just woke up. So that's why I'm upstairs vacuuming at this point. I just didn't want to wake him up because he's been really hard to put to sleep lately and stay asleep. So uh, I, this mama really needed a break. But we are done with today's video. I hope that this video brought you tons of decluttering and organizing motivation and just goals for your own home. And I hope that you guys will consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I would love to have you guys back. And honestly, I'm so happy with all of the current support that I have. And just y'all are amazing. I don't even know what I would do without you guys. Like you guys make me want to do better every video and just keep putting these videos out. And it just makes me so excited to come back and see you guys watching my videos and commenting. It just makes me so happy and I hope that you guys come here and you feel safe and happy as well. But I will see you guys back in my next video. Like I said, there is tons of decluttering coming to this household. I will be doing a top to bottom declutter. So make sure you are subscribed for that. And I will also have a really big sponsorship coming up and I know you guys will love it because I love it. So make sure you stay tuned for that as well. I'm sure you guys won't want to miss it. And I will see you guys back in my next video.